Right now, 40,000 people in Maryland are still waiting on their unemployment benefits. The state Senate is looking to give a one-time payment of $1,000 to those job seekers. The plan comes with a $520 million price tag. WMAR 2 News' Ray Strickland joins us live now in Baltimore County with the details. So, Ray, would this be an amendment to the governor's uh, relief bill that he proposed just last week? Uh, yes, Kelly, that's exactly right. And this proposal would also provide relief for businesses, transportation, housing, and more. It will also use $40 million to help those whose unemployment benefits are still in limbo. The Senate's Recovery Now plan would be in addition to the governor's $1 billion relief package. Senate President Bill Ferguson laid out the details today. He says the proposal is a more targeted plan, which looks to help nearly 200,000 Marylanders and 19,000 businesses. We know that there must be more done immediately. It comes with a $520 million price tag, with most of the money coming from the state's rainy day fund. Tens of millions of dollars will go to businesses, education, housing, transportation, and more. But $40 million will go to those still waiting for unemployment benefits. The Recovery Now plan is proposing to give them $1,000 one-time payments. These Marylanders deserve better. These Marylanders have been waiting for months and months with absolutely no financial assistance. One, I don't know anyone who's able to survive without getting income for weeks at a time. A Baltimore woman who didn't want to be identified says she's been waiting on benefits going on two months. While she continues to wait, she says the $1,000 would be a big help. For some, that may not seem like a lot, but for when you're not getting any um income that that's a whole lot but she says the best solution is getting her claim resolved it is no way that you should have people um not being able to get resolved for months or months at a time and the senate is looking to pass this legislation as soon as possible it's expected to vote on it as soon as next week and then the bill is on to the house live in towson ray strickland wmar2 news